I'm looking for Pete Kazmarek. I know you. Great. That'll save us both time. How are you doing, Betty? How are you doing? You want to take care of that? Yeah, uh, Zoe, office. Uh, wait this way? Come on, hi. Hey. Hey, come on, you people can't be here. You can tell her to leave and move her damn car already because I'm double parked. Your car can wait. And I'll have a coffee. Black. Oh, back Betty, bam a lamb. Oh, back Betty, bam a lamb. She's from Birmingham. Bam a lamb, way down in Alabama. Sit. Bam a lamb, well, she's shaking that thing. Bam a lamb, boy, she makes me sing. Bam a lamb, oh, back Betty, bam a lamb. Oh, back Betty, bam a lamb. So, it's obvious from the gibberish you just spewed that you've been following my case in the newspapers. They're making me out to look like OJ with boobs. <laughs> Look, Dwayne was an addict and a pain in my ass. But I loved him. And unlike OJ, I didn't do it. So tell me how you'd fight this. Well, first yeah, of all, there's uh, solid evidence linking you to the theft. The silver was mine. Silver bars were his idea of showing me that I'd be taken care of in case anything ever happened to him. It was the least he could do. Eight years and the bastard never married me. What about the ring you took from his safe? Was that yours also? No. That I stole. <laughs> okay, the uh, prosecution's gonna argue that your motive for murder was stealing the silver, but if, as you say, the silver was already yours, then you had no motive. We just need to find someone who did have motive and point the but finger... But as long as you don't point the finger at Jason. You know the boy toy I was banging? Yeah, uh, Betty, we realize this is a sensitive area, but one would argue since Jason built the safe he I had... said no Jason and I didn't do anything wrong great listen now we don't want to waste your time or ours uh, I don't think this firm is right to represent you in this matter I appreciate your blunt honesty Mr. Morelli really most people just lie about how much they hate me you're both hired don't screw it up you'll have a check tomorrow Dwayne used to play it for me every time he wanted to get me between his sweaty sheets. Thanks for the visual. Hey, Betty, you're here. Great. Let's get started. Didn't tell me she was going to be here. Just a tourist, remember? OK, why don't you tell me about Jason? Well, Dwayne had hired him to build us a vault in a cellar, so he was around a lot. Dwayne was using more and more, and Jason, well, he was just there for me. What could I say? I'm a sucker for a hot man with a hammer. Sweet. You cheat on Dwayne in his own house and you make a joke about it? This was our house. My home. And there was nothing funny about it. You have no idea what it was like. Dwayne went crazy those last years. Do you know he ripped an earring right out of my ear? Jason drove me to get the stitches. Who would you have picked? Well, you had already made a commitment. Okay, okay. Uh, why don't you walk me through what happened that night? Well, Dwayne and I got into it real bad the night before he died. I called Jason and told him I was ready to get the hell out. So the next day, we came back and packed up my stuff. I thought Dwayne was at rehearsals. I went upstairs to pack, and Jason... Jason went down to the vault. This is huge. Well, I had to hold Dwayne's silver. Four million dollars. Really. I told you it was mine. Why didn't he give you cash or a checking account or a CD or something? You're such a genius. Why don't you figure it out? Okay, you know what? Why don't you show us where you found Dwayne? Great. So I was in the middle of packing when I came downstairs looking for a pair of my Jimmy Choo's. He was just lying there. I turned him. I 
started to shake him. I guess I must have been screaming because Jason ran in. I wanted to call 911, but Jason said Dwayne was already gone. He wanted to finish loading the silver first, so that's what we did. How very productive of you. Well, Dwayne was gone. He had overdosed. There was nothing I could do. Except for Dwayne did not die of an overdose. The coroner said he had pressure markings on his face. He was smothered with a pillow. Look, I'm no doctor, but in my experience, addicts die of their addictions. I'm an alcoholic, okay? Sober 10 years. That's how I met Dwayne, in rehab. We fell in love. That's sweet. You love Dwayne? I thought you loved Jason. I love them both. It, it's possible. You have a problem with that? Me? No. No. It's a very touching story. It is. <laughs> You know that look that you've been giving me ever since I walked into your office? We're working on that. <clears throat> I can't even get my nails done without people giving me that look. All day long, I have to put up with everyone's crap. You know what I won't put up with, Nikki? <laughs> you. You're off the case. I'm not even on it. Good. We'll see you in court tomorrow. Don't be late. <laughs> Some tourist you want, Nick. Jack! What is wrong with you?